Introduction The paper responds to poems that deal with experiences and emotions experienced by soldiers on the war front. The first poem was written by a woman who provided humanitarian and medical care to soldiers, while the rest were written by men who fought in World War I. Each of these poems reveals the attitudes of the writer towards the war. The discussion focuses on their emotions and experiences to determine whether they support or do not support the war in general. Mary Borden's The Song of the Mud The poem by Mary Borden entitled The Song of the Mud is a narration that uses mud as a symbol to demonstrate the atrocities and destruction attributed to war. She uses mud to show how war has turned soldiers into hopeless, desperate, and lowly beings. She portrays a picture of hopelessness when she says, his coat that once was blue and now is gray and stiff with the mud that cakes to it. Moreover, she is also concerned that man is making his own grave that eventually sucks him up. Her words show disgust and pain about war by relating its effects to the negative attributes of mud. The poet uses symbolism to deliver the message that war is senseless and diminishes their power. Anthem for a Doomed Youth by Wilfred Owen In the poem, Wilfred Owen narrates the fate of soldiers who die on the warfront. He presents a picture of sadness and desolation that soldiers must face as an aftermath of war. He continues further to show how unsympathetic and deathly the outcomes of war are. As a result, the poet portrays how war heroes die a miserable life without the benefit of a decent farewell. He does this by posing the question, what passing bells for these who die as cattle? In this regard, he elicits feelings of regret, which reinforce his anti-war sentiments. Into Battle by Julian Grenfell The author of the poem Into the Battle glorifies the feat achieved by courageous soldiers in battle. He provides promise, and not gloom, to soldiers who died at the battlefront. He gives them hope of a new beginning, whether in life or death. He promises the benefits that nature can provide for those who live. Similarly, he promises glory and honor in the afterlife for those who die. The poet demonstrates this when he says, The fighting man shall from the sun take warmth and life from the glowing earth. As a result, he elicits pro-war feelings and emotions by encouraging battling soldiers to fight irrespective of the war's outcome. Pro Patria by Owen Seaman Owen Seaman appeals to the patriotism of the English to wage war for the sake of the nation. He encourages them to be steadfast and not to be afraid of what might happen to them. This poem has pro war sentiments which appeal to the dignity and brotherhood of a people. It is a clarion call for soldiers to take arms and defend their motherland without hesitation to preserve their honor and integrity. This attitude is portrayed by the author when he says, England, in this great fight to which you go. Because, where honor calls you, go you must. Consequently, the poet elicits honor and greatness, only achieved through courage on the war front. Conclusion In short, the poems are narrations of the experiences and emotions elicited by the authors to show their attitude towards war. The narrations by Mary Borden and Wilfred Owen demonstrate anti-war emotions and feelings, while those by Julian Grenfell and Owen Seaman are pro-war. Study Corgi can help you make your studies smarter. Visit studycorgi.com for more samples like this, study tips, and writing tools.